All right, every year viewers are just as excited about the Super Bowl commercials as they are about the big game. For the first, well, for the past eight years, uh, the Doritos brand has invited consumers to submit homemade ads for a chance to see them air in front of millions, tens of millions of people during the Super Bowl. Joining us live from Phoenix, Arizona, are two of the finalists, David Horowitz and Graham Talbot. Good morning, guys. And I tell you what, the competition every year just gets horrendous. What do you think? It's crazy. Yeah, like uh, we're all friends here, but uh, we're also a little bit at each other's throats and having a good time and just, uh, yeah, it's it's incredible. Now tell us about this year's, yeah, gotta... uh, tell us about this year's contest and what's at stake for the winners. Basically what's at stake is during the campaigning, uh, whoever has the popular vote will win a million dollars and have their air or have their ad air on the Super Bowl. So to me, it's a tremendous honor to be here with the nine other finalists. I think they're all very, very talented filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And it's been a whirlwind since they announced the uh, finalist back in uh, on January 5th. Wow, the two of you, that's that's really tremendous going on a million dollars. Now, you know, if I was going up against a good friend for a million dollars, I would just look at him and say, listen, one of us is going to win. You want to split it. Did you guys do that? Well, there was, I was kind of joking with the other Canadian entrant that the Canadian way to go about things is to just have everyone split it. That way we have a guaranteed $100,000 <laughs> and uh, we don't even need to worry about the million, right? Yeah, I'll take 100000 That's pretty good too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What a great Canadian sport, that's for sure. Hey, now tell us about your spots, guys. Tell us, tell us individually what your spots are about. Well, the lemonade stand's basically about our first clumsy attempts at doing business as children, whether that was selling lemonade, Girl Scout cookies, or chocolate. But in the case of the lemonade stand, this girl's anything but clumsy. In fact, she's super, super intelligent, way more intelligent than I'll ever be. And uh, she basically turns her little lemonade stand, it's a front, into a bidding war for her bag of Doritos. Um, so, yeah, she's an auctioneer, and... Uh, she uh, basically bamboozles a guy into uh, buying a bunch of lemonade. You say she's an auctioneer, so she's going to get up at 20 an hour, 25, and get up $30, and then she gets the guy to buy a whole bunch of stuff, right? Oh, you're clearly experienced in the matter. I mean, you're, you're good. You got that, I think it's called rolling, right? That's, that's uh, yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, guys, what are you going to do with a million dollars if you win it? Ooh. <laughs> what won't we do with a million dollars? Uh, vacation, relax after this last month of like craziness, I think, right? Mm -hmm. We all want to, I want to move out of my parents' basement, basically. That's, that's the big thing I want to do, but. <laughs> oh, that's going to be yeah. fun. Hey, guys, uh, you know, we, we've got 10 finalists, and there's a spot that we can go on and watch those 10 finalists uh, and vote for our favorite one. Where, where can we find that? You can go to Doritos.com. You can see all 10 great spots. They're all, in my opinion, Super Bowl worthy. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's great to be here. It's good, good to have you guys with us today from Phoenix, Arizona. And I really think that the other nine uh, contestants, the top 10, the guy that wins has got the million dollars, but the other nine, Doritos should give them a life supply of Doritos. What do you think? Oh, I'd yeah. be down for that. Yeah. And, and yeah, Doritos, a little spicy Doritos. Yeah, that'd be delicious. Super. Guys, thanks, thanks for having us. Really Great. appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We're Thank going to be you. watching it during Super Bowl. And uh, thanks for representing us from Canada and also from the U.S. Joining us from Phoenix, Arizona. Have a great day. Great. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. And we've got more of Low Country Live right after the break. Stay with us.